Parties kind of did now. I don't understand why. No. Hi, right, welcome to another episode of Beer Show Part Four, and the last one of Grim Ross Abbey series. <laughs> we are doing Abbey Quad. For me, quad. I think of a drone. So I'm a big. Uh, I, I love drones. Hi, man. Go out the states. This is quad. This is a four wheeler. That too. That too. Quad. Four. Oh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I can't wait to jump into that one. Eleven percent EBV. How, how the hell can you jump into camp? You can jump on it, not in it. Well, if you jump on it, you're going to ruin the beer. It's going to everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> well, let's open it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a nine, eleven percent. Son of a bar. Pow. Quadruple, often called Belgian Dark Ooh, Strong Ale, is rich, complex, and best considered slowly and quietly in a glass. As a meal, or uh, <laughs> I was doing some William Shatner stuff. Uh, you, you understand <laughs> wait, 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 I wait. am seeing. <laughs> uh, as a meal of its own. Deep as December evening, this... Going, what the hell is that sound? Whatever. Uh, this <laughs> this crowning extra strong beer warms with elaborate Swedish plummy, toasty, figgy, and spicy notes. No, really, what's this that sound? It sounds like a parrot. Ah, probably the wheel of that. Okay, never mind. We're having a party. No. Oh, this is dark, man. Dude, get off your phone. <laughs> I was trying to find Dude, a sergeant right freaking phone. that little. But yeah, Grim Ross. Oh. Quad. It smells strong. It looks strong. It looks dark. Oof. Hey, yeah. Oh, I just burned it on me. <laughs> oh, that looks like it. Yeah, yeah. You can tell if it's strong just by the color. Yeah, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody from Germany. Belgium. Belgium. Actually, it is. But anyway. It's dark. Yeah, I think we're going to end the party right now. Well, um, yeah, it's kind of noisy. Wow, that is one dark baby. Sounds like a Ooh. morning dove. I actually see you in the morning dove. Uh, the there we go. Oh, I got some oh. beer. Hmm. Oh, it uh, smells very strong. It smells strong. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, yes. Strong beer, man. Teeth, just like the 13 barrels. The one that we had a while ago. First one I gave you? The stout one? Uh, it doesn't taste like a stout. No, but there's uh, that strong kick in the back of it. What I would tell, what I would say. Muscumi school. Muscumi school. Nope, oh, still if he's the one. Burley wine, the first one I gave you? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Yes, that's exactly the one I was talking about. Sorry about uh, the other guys. That's right. The Cidre de Fils du Roi. The Cidre de Fils du Roi, a uh, Burley wine. Of Norch, uh, actually, it's the North Shore Regiment beer. Never had that one. You guys had it with... Well, uh, I, I just gave you this a while ago. That was a North Shore... The first Shore. drink I gave you? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the North Shore Regiment. That was the North Shore Regiment. Okay, yeah. 11.9. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, this one... It tastes almost the same. It tastes the tastes same. tastes almost the same. Now I find the other one was just a little touch stronger, taste-wise... But I find 
the the similarity of the tastes are strong beer. Yeah. yeah, the similarity of the tastes is there. Yeah, yeah. I you know I, just like I said, I'm starting to have a a weak spot for strong beers, and we said it in from the first uh, the single Abbey to the quad Grim Ross. As it says, again, one, two, three, four. You did it again. I personally give this a 9.5. Never mind waiting till the end. I get right away 9.5. 9.5. We yep. already had our 10, which is a, from Emmitston. I'll show you the footage after. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I said this one, 9.5. Like right he said it. He said it. Right right off off I bat. agree. I agree. Right off the bat, that's pretty much it. Cause uh, I'm sure that Norbert, just like I am, we're on a strong beer. You know, it's. I Where's went the, for. I, I remember I drank Coors Light for the longest time. If I drink a Coors Light now, so you may as well give me a glass of water. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like. I don't mind. Light beers. Like Cruise Light. Oh, me, light. me either. Time to time. When I go out somewheres or uh, go have a family member or friends or whatever. Staff bro. <gasps> staff bro or whatever. A 4.5 or even a 4%. I don't give a crap. This way I can drink a bit. Uh, take a cab. Go home. Sleep. Mm -hmm. I got to look at my liquor store if we have any of those. So I can have some for myself. And... Uh, since I'm from Camelton, so about an, just like I said earlier in the other parts, in the other series of the video, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes away from where Norbert lives. Ah! And I'm... 50 minutes. 40, 45 minutes. I to piss off as you drive. <laughs> speed limit! What? What's the speed limit? 100 miles an hour. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 100 kilometers an hour. Oh, that was close. But uh, you know, I'm working as well on a wall like he ha like we have in the back here. The beer wall. The beer wall. But I'm more, I'll Norwal. be using a pallet to make mine and uh, pallet. Anyway, but I know I, I'm going to buy myself a four pack of these, and I, that's going to be going on my freaking wall. Grim Ross, uh, spectacular beer. You spe guys, very good. Just like I said earlier in this video here, we're probably going a little bit too long on this yeah, video. Yeah, 12 minutes so far. But Grimross, uh, Blossom de la Côte, Picaroons, uh, Fils du Roi, you guys make terrific beers. You know, I don't want to say Grimross is better than any any other of the New Brunswick craft beers, okay? I just want to put that out there. I just want to put that out there. But New Brunswick okay. craft beers are one it. of the... Best beers I've ever tasted. You know, I buy my beer on the Quebec side. I, I, I'll admit. But I do buy my Savoy Brew House. From at, Savoy's. No, I buy it at the liquor store. <laughs> well, but, nice. you know, I don't like this, you know, like Grim Ross, just like Boss Laco, Fist of War, and all them. They're all equal to me. Because they're all brewed in... The Brunswick. Exactly. So that's why... You we know, are called Beer Show NB. That's exactly it. So even though if we're going to branch out in, within Canada, and then worldwide, we're still going to be Beer Show NB because we're New Brunswickers reviewing beer. And if you come to Bathurst with your wife, I'm going to bring it to Old Bootlegger and okay. get you to try the AKA Beer Prohibition Ale. That too is another good beer. Right. So... 2020, Fredericton, Moncton, we're going to come down the road trip and we're going to finish you guys. And by the time 2020, 2021, <laughs> going to New Brian stuff. Uh, 2021, we're going to finish Southern New Brunswick. Uh, I'm not going to start listing all the breweries, but we're gonna we're gonna finish them all, and we're gonna end up we're gonna finish with this Moosehead Small Batch, mm -hmm. and visiting the Moosehead Brewery. Oh, shit! I just said the secret. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna try. Oh, there now. Twenty twenty one. We're we're gonna try to do that. Real. So by the end of twenty twenty one, 
we're going to be done New Brunswick. If new brewers come out, we're going to do it to an error. But by the end of 2021, New Brunswick will be finito, fini, done. Road trip editions, visiting, tasting, and everything. Right on. That's so then we're going to move on to PI. And after that, Nova Scotia. That's going to take some a, a time. So that's going to take a while. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching part four of Grim Ross Abbey Series. We were tasting the quad, which I give it a 9.5. He gave 9 it a 9.5. I got to go use the bathroom. Oh, uh, the bathroom. You can close and, and, and thank you for watching. And uh, see you guys on the next. I know this one was long, but see, see you guys. You. See you guys on the next episode. Later.